I'm still packing stamps away from yesterday but I thought I'd give you some time to come in if you're watching this on the live if you're watching this on the replay you are so welcome thank you so much for coming in and seeing what I'm up to today okay so I was thinking of Mother's Day like last week and then it really it struck me today oh my goodness it's Mothering Sunday this Sunday and I've got to make my mum a card Tom's already planning to make his Mother's Day card at some point this week and because she lives locally it's not so much of an issue because he can drop it off but I've got to make my mummy a card so she better not be watching mummy if you're watching this switch off now okay you're not allowed to watch um because she's you know she might just sneak in and she might just sit there and watch and you know not comment you know you never know you never know with these mothers you know sort of thing I would do to my children <laughs> Okay, so because I showed you my little nifty Stamparatus gadget yesterday, I thought I may as well use it today. And I know some of you would like me to use the Stamparatus a bit more and show you some techniques. Obviously, you know, wreath stamping comes to mind. It, it's one of a, it's a natural kind of thing to do with the Stamparatus. And, you know, and I'm all about... Yeah, you know, may as well go big, guys. Go big. Let's make a big one. So I'm thinking let's cut some. Oh, I was going to make a card that's like really big, but um, I'm trying to think if I could do an 8x8. I might be able to do an 8x8 actually, but I'll have to make the card stand up in a slightly different way. I'll have to figure that one out when I get to it. So I know what, let's cut this down to um, eight by eight. Okay, we'll keep it simple for everybody. So if you want that in centimeters, basically it's about 23, no, 203 millimeters. So it's 20 centimeters and three, three millimeters. But we'll just go eight by eight, it just kind of keeps it simple. And, we're going to do this without a template. I know I have got a Stamparatus template that I have shown people how to make. If you want to see that, I will pop that in the description later. I'm thinking let's do lots of lovely flowers and flowers and butterflies, like a mandala type thing. That's what I'm thinking. And also, I'm wondering whether to make use of, of this, you know, because we have it let's get the i'm going to get some of my grid paper out because i think that will help me she says <laughs> hopefully um i may mark actually i'm going to mark on my paper some pencil lines before I get started so that I know where the middle is oh I was looking at my caddy then going where are my pencils <laughs> oh yes I forgot I put daffodils on the ends of all of them <laughs> oops there we go hello everybody that's joining me now on the live you're so welcome always great to have you guys come and see what I'm up to uh, yes the remnants of yesterday's live are still on my desk as you can see from the paper behind the scrap paper behind me behind this rather so I've just done a cross so I've got this is eight by eight cardstock I've drawn across end to end end to end just to give me an idea of where the middle is and we're just going to wing it, you know. Let's let's see what happens. I'll pop that away now. What are you guys talking about? Oh, Martina says the link doesn't work. Oh dear, Don. Better do that again. 
Hi everybody. Share, copy link. Oh well, try that now. Um, hi Linda, hi everybody. Oh, oh sorry. I'm trying to get, oh no, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Right, I'm trying to get the video up so I can see what I'm doing. Oh dear, adverts. Sorry about that. Skip out. Right, hello everybody. Hi Cindy, Jane, Monica, Bonnie, Glenna, Linda, Esther, Janice, Cindy, Mindy, Sharon, Joanna, Glenna, Bev, Gail. I try not to repeat names, but they just they come in front of me and I have to say them. Sharon, Roberta, hello. That's a new name. Hi, Le uh, Martina, uh, Janine, lovely to see you. Hi, Deborah Mitchum, nice to see you. Hi, Wendy. Okay, Wendy, I'm going to try and use that cheese stamp. I'm going to try and do... Now, you seem to stamp it where you had it fitting... You had it fit into six earlier, didn't you? But I'm going to do it so... Oh, actually. Actually, if I do it up there, I might have it fit into eights. Hmm. If I do that... I'm going to have to draw more, more lines. This is what I'm realising. Sorry about this, guys. Bear with a second. I'm just going to draw an additional line to help me out here. So draw from there to there. There we go. Just so I'm marking halfway. So because it's eight inches wide, this paper, I know that if I mark it four inches, that is the halfway point. So it's just to kind of give me a guide to aim for. Okay, so what I want is to make sure that the circumference like the sorry the border is going to create a really nice circular pattern so I've laid it on there like that and now I'm going to pick it up okay so this is a stamping platform for those of you who may not know and the whole idea of a stamping platform is that it uh, enables you to do repeat stamping because I'm using the photopolymer stamp I've got my extra spongy bit to bulk it up a little bit because the red rubber already has that sponge. I've cut my cardstock to 8x8 and we're going to get stamping. I don't know, I haven't even picked colours yet. My mum quite likes bright colours. You know, she's not really... I remember spending ages over this really beautiful pastel card once and um, I think she found the colours a bit insipid. So... Um, it's not to say the card wasn't nice, it just wasn't her taste. Uh, <laughs> so I think let's go bright and cheery, you know, typical spring kind of thing. So, oops. Oh. Well, I would normally use the magnets, but because we're going to be doing a lot of moving around, I kind of, um, I don't really want to waste time using them. So I'm just going to flip my um, piece of paper around, keep my, my stamp is still a, at the right place. I'm going to flip that shut. Use that. Twist it again. It's 
Sorry, I'm totally missing comments. I think Esther's doing a good job answering questions, isn't she? But just at me if you want me to answer. So I'm, I'm kind of concentrating on what I'm doing here. Just realised that, that that's quite nifty having that there because it kind of creates a bit of a, a wedge for you while you ink up. So... Oh, oh. <laughs> I went back to using my hands. Um, I'm not used to my own gadget yet. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is clean off and clean off the stamp because I need to reposition it. And I'm going to just pop him there. So I'm trying to get the angle correct. So the le little leaf, I'm trying to have it end in between the two lines that I have there and connect them there. It looks like a pepperoni. <laughs> you lot are hilarious. I have to try and get my mum to record her reactions when she gets the card and see if it's uh, anywhere close to what you're saying. Oh, hi, Cindy. Yes, listen only, no typing. Well, it's starting to look like a star fruit now, isn't it, everybody? Are you talking about how to pin my videos directly to Pinterest? Yeah, I showed, I think I showed it on a video the other day, but I'm happy to go over it again. Well, I like that. <laughs> Not quite sure what else I'm going to do, but I like that. We could do a massive flower in the middle, couldn't we? So we could have that like that and then at the same time we could stamp the in-betweeny bits. So that would be about there. Um, so I'm starting it. Starting at, you see that, I don't know what you describe that as, the pep, that pepperoni on the pizza there, I'm just going to put the end of the petal there. Okay, I better clean this off. So, by the way, the stamp set that I'm using is called Delicate Petals. Oh, what is that noise? It's very windy out tonight. So I'm hearing odd noises from my garden. Yeah, sorry, as I was saying about delicate petals, my downline Wendy has lent this to me. And if you want to see a really lovely um, demonstration of her stamping this as a one sheet wonder, she has released a video and it's on her YouTube channel. You can watch it after me. What's happening with the studio? Um, it's being built, yeah, uh, today. He, uh, my builder wanted to cut the cladding, so I've gone for concrete cladding. But the builder's merchants who supplied the cladding and were supposed to supply a special cutter uh, didn't supply the right cutter for it. So he went to he, he ordered the new one for tomorrow, and so because there was nothing else he could do today, he he went and he, he's working on another job at the moment as well. So. I said that's fine. You know, there's nothing we could do about it, so um, but yeah, it's getting there. So this is Melon Mambo. It's 
So let's see if this works. Use my little gadget that I made. So incidentally, for those of you who are wondering about this gadget, I it's just the top of a candle or a, a candle, not a candle, a jar, but you can get candles in these jars or a coffee top, coffee jar top lid. And then I've just crocheted this little hat on it. It's like an invisible snowman. Um, and it's just so that rather than having to push down with your fingers, you've got something to kind of grasp and slide around. It's, it means you can slide. So. Yeah, like an apothecary jar. A glide globe. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually buy them because I've seen other, dem not other demonstrators, but other like crafters using them and they've said that they were given them. So I don't know if somebody had, had made, made it for them or something. Don't know. I saw Jennifer Maguire had one. Not sure even if Christina Huerna had one. But it seems to be working, you get a very good impression with it. Oh, I better clean this stamp off, I'm getting pink all over it. Sorry, Wendy. I'm gonna have to put these stamps in my special cleaner later. Now I wish I would cook a crochet. <laughs> Yes, I thought that would be the other way to do it, Bonnie. Yeah. Yes, or a whiteboard eraser. Sorry, that's the other suggestion. Yep, just get an eraser. Okay, so that's the first layer, or first round. So because the reason I'm having to do two lots to set it twice is because obviously we've only got four corners. So you have to just reposition your stamps if you want to do it oct in an octagonal design so of course I that's the one that I did before so I need to move it on a unit as it were um, let's pop that there pop that there Ah, so people are making them themselves. It's not necessarily something that a company has done. Oh, that's good. I like it when crafters kind of find their own solutions to things. You know, I mean, I'm, <laughs> there's me in the business and wanting to sell stuff to you. But um, at the same time, I'm also about, you know, finding solutions, your own solutions. A little bit of carpet, yeah, that could work. A bit of old car. Well, I've got lots of new bits of scrap carpet lying about the place at the moment because I've just had new carpet fitted. So. more to go it's a bit like a she loves me she loves me not isn't it <laughs> right I'm just going to set this out of the way as I clean up because I really don't want to get any ink anywhere so sorry about this bear with as I just give this a good clean just 
Put, now, so I'm sorry, Stampin' Up! don't do this cleaner anymore, but I do find it helps just to take the worst off the the, cle the photopolymer. It tends to get quite dark. Oh, so some people do make them. Ah, okay. Yeah. And I, you know, I really love it also when the crafters find solutions and then they go, and I can make a bit of money on the side as well, helping other people. <laughs> and then a big company comes along and goes, we'll have to make those, make 50 million of those. <laughs> but there we go. That's the nature of the beast. Right. So what next? I see I'm desperate to use this floral because I think I could probably get away with just stamping that four times but hmm might not actually I might have to stamp that a few times because I'm looking at the pencil lines and actually they stretch right across I'm starting to run out of space Right, so I think let's do that there. Although, actually, I should do it there first because it's not going to fit. Ooh, unless I do it that way, that'd be a bit different, won't it? No, I am I am running the risk of it not stamping properly in that corner because when the things are quite near the edge, they some oh actually no, it's this corner. Okay, sometimes when stamps are put on the edge of the hinge, um, they don't always meet so well. But I think we'll get away with that one. Oh right now, what colour? I know she'll want bright. Esther, what do you think? Ooh. Yeah, well, the stamp artist is helping to make it really precise, Glenna. You know, I'd I'd have to be, um, yeah, being very precise if I was to do this by hand. So that is the benefit of, them, of this. Okay, so I've used pink. I've used yellow. I am turning the paper, Gail. I wonder whether to go for purple. That's a gorgeous grape because I'm wondering whether to colour colour this in afterwards hi Laurie hi Sheila Sheila was watching Esther's video that's allowed Sheila we'll forgive you You and Deborah will have to have detention, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Esther gives you a pass, <laughs> Sheila. Okay, so now who asked about turning the paper, not the Gail? Okay, Gail, did you mean why don't I then just do move it so that I do that? 
Is that is that kind of what you were meaning? Obviously the reason now is because my paper's too big and I'll crush it, so I can't do it that way. Is that what you meant? Yeah, if the Stamparatus is one of those funny tools that in one sense it makes, for certain techniques, it makes stamping super duper easy. But then you start to sort of overthink and you go, oh, I could do this and I could do that. But you have to understand how the tool works because it does have its limitations. Um, so, Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to place this stamp in this position here, trying to match up exactly what I did here. So uh, that, um, that petal there has to touch the top so I can see where the top of that yellow circle is and then that le that petal there is just at the top of that pink petal there so I'm just trying to replicate what I've done um, so it's worth just spending the time making sure it's all in place. Just move that up slightly. There we go, before picking it up. So I'm picking that up. Inking again. too bad it's touching there but not touching there but I think I can live with that that'll be the thing my dad notices <laughs> he's got such an eagle eye for this type of thing as an Esther see you who else has just snuck in that I didn't see at the beginning because there's a few more of you now than there were earlier got to check what's in the foot Christ oh yes that's a good idea Navron Right, there we go. So it's going to start getting a bit tricky now because I think I'm only going to be able to do some small motifs in there. I might be able to get away with maybe a little leaf there and a leaf there. And then maybe do like a flower Like there or something. <laughs> Esther. Esther saying, more cheese? Are you saying that as in more cheese grommet? More cheese grommet? Not even Wensleydale. Oh yes, a bit of dotage. Right, I'm wondering whether to come in with the yellow or to go, like have another bit of yellow or to go in with green now. I'm wondering just whether to pull that yellow up a bit. More cheese for the corner. What do it like like that and like that? 
I think, you know what, I think I'm going to have to do that by hand because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. A soft green or a yellow. I could do granny apple green and then do some, like, I could, like, do a leaf in here. Couldn't I? Right, we'll go for Granny Apple, and what I'll do is, um, I want that, like that, coming out of that one. Okay, I'm going to, this is another trick, so we, when you're wanting to align something up, oh, where's my Granny Apple Green gone? I don't know where it is. Okay, might have to go for something else. A bit odd. I pulled it out last night, didn't I? I wonder if just Jade will do. Forgot about the um, the little sprays. Oh, there's that tiny spray as well. Sorry about this. I'm being a bit indecisive, aren't I? I know. What, I was going to show you that technique. So, what you can do is, if you want to cut down on your stamping time but you need to be precise in your laying out. What you do is you stamp one image like that. Then you move it round. And then you place the next leaf. And then where else? I was going to do, um, oh yeah, I was going to do that there, wasn't I? Make sure it's all pushed in. Then you can pick it up. <laughs> Who's that? Le Chat. Le Chat 86. Watching and only 12 thumbs ups. That's because they're waiting to see how it all ends. You know, it could be really awful. <laughs> so they're poised, ready to give me a thumbs down. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, thanks, Deborah. It is very relaxing, yeah. Generally, it is relaxing, apart from when you're alive and you've got 80 people, 85 people, what, 87 people watching, and you're thinking, oh, I better not make a wrong move, like choose the wrong colour or stamp it in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm letting all these people down. <laughs> no, it's good fun. You guys are very forgiving. So, because I've already stamped that one, I'm actually going to remove it because I don't want to do it twice. So I'm just going to do those two. Cindy Sawyer. Hi Linda Claire. Right, so that's the green done. Now I am thinking of doing something 
Um, oh, I guess actually because we've got green there and it's a bit tricky for me to do any more green up there, I could do green in here to make up for the fact I can't really do it up there. Right, so, so it's not a true mandala, it's just a kind of wreath effect. Because a mandala really is sort of, they, it's repeated um, pretty exactly, isn't it? So let's see, where else could I pop a leaf? I'm wondering whether I could have one coming from there and one coming from there. I know it's overlapping a little bit, but I, th I think that will work. And then, do I fit in another one of those? Oh no, I don't like that there. Maybe there. Yes, that'll do. No, Paula, no. This is, I'm going to make a massive card. Like, an, um, um, I think because we don't have cardstock that is double this size, I'm going to have to do some kind of easel type thing and, and do it in pieces. So, yeah, this is a Mother's Day card for my mum. Because I've just realised I need to get it sent off. Because even though the post is quite good at the moment, it just... You just don't know. It, it, you know. It's very relaxing when you stare at it. Yeah, Martina did something quite mandala-y, very kind of structured the other day, and I said it was really quite relaxing to look at it. So, uh, if you haven't headed over to Facebook to Artful Stamping Space, that it's where you can share pictures of. Oh, okay, so. Because this is sort of hanging over a little bit, be careful you don't get ink on the edge there. Just as I was doing it, I knew it was happening, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh well. I might be able to cover it up with something later. That's the spot where the sentiment goes. Oh yeah, I could just do a very simple one at the bottom, couldn't I? Because I don't really want to do anything too big on here. Yes, so Esther's got her own Facebook group. Wu has got Wu. <laughs> Wu's Creations. Wendy has got her Facebook. Now, is it a group or a page, Wend? So if you see anything over on their channels that you're inspired by. Now, this is where it does get sometimes get a little bit blurred because um, we, we sometimes do similar things. But that's fine. But if you see a definite idea from either one of us, you feel that you've only seen with one of us then please do share it on our respective um, Facebook groups okay so I'm feeling like I need to bring in some pink and yellow somewhere else now and I did get out the butterflies because I thought maybe just maybe I could sneak a butterfly. Sorry, my very messy uh, container. What if I could sneak a butterfly in there? Actually, it's better over here. I'm going to do it there. That's still on the, just about on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let's take these off. See you, Monica. Uh, 
All right then, Est. Nice to see you. Right, now the question will be whether or not to colour these in. This could be a long video tonight, guys. <laughs> you may want to skip ahead. If you're watching this on the replay, you may want to skip ahead because um, this is going to be pretty detailed. I've got to set the bar high for Tom, you see. Tom's got to make something for his mum. Oh, Mart sorry, no, Martina hasn't got one. She shared her picture on my Artful Stamping Space Facebook group, Lisa. Yeah, she's she's not a demonstrator. She's, she's a Stampin' Up! user. <laughs> if you understand my terminology. Yeah, no, she loves Stampin' Up! products and um, she's been following me for a little while and she makes beautiful cards that she shares the pictures with us so oh take care Subu what's the time oh okay so we're in 20 40 minutes in okay it's not too bad right I'm wondering if I can fit another butterfly in there yay just This is where I have to really make sure that the card is pushed right into the corner. Hi, Jan. Martina refuses to be a demonstrator. And her demonstrator is very happy with that too. <laughs> oh, do they? Uh... So have you sent yours yet, Christine? Thank you, Cheryl. You're cooking dinner, that's allowed. I'm surprised you're not watching me while you're cooking dinner. Yes, and I like the how the butterfly is it's a what's the word? Line drawing similar to the petals, so it kind of feels like it's from the same stamp set even though that it's not. Right, now I'm gonna cheat for the next bit because we do have a stamp that colours this in, but I personally will find it easier just to do it by hand. So um just gotta find it now. should put all my little butterflies in a in a baggie really so let me just move move this out of the way for a sec oh you're stamping a one sheet wonder are you Linda Good, good. Yes, what's what's for dinner, Jan? Oh, I cooked a beef stew this evening in my Instant Pot. And I'm really struggling to find, at the moment, I'm struggling to find recipes that my daughter likes. Um, she's just going through that very kind of certain textures. And I think it's particularly textures she's not enjoying at the moment. So... When I find a recipe that she'll eat, I'm like, woohoo! So I got some beef. So there was about 800 gra um, grams of beef. What's that in pounds? That's about pound and pound and a half? No, two pounds-ish. 
of beef, uh, stewing, you know, beef. Has Jan told us what she's having for dinner? Veggie soup. What's Lorraine having? Pork roast with mash. Pork roast? Oh. Oh. With applesauce? Stuffed peppers and salad. From a pinch of Nimbook 3. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, so I... I just put, I just literally, I didn't do any browning, I, I didn't have time. I just put the beef, an onion, and about 15 chopped mushrooms. Now normally, my kids turn up their noses at mushrooms, but I thought, stuff it, I need to cook this. It's going in. We'll, we'll just see what happens. So, mushrooms, onions, and the onion, and then a tin of tomatoes and I have I've got some Maggie cubes that I need to use up so I put in it's basically a stock cube so I put a stock cube in and salt pepper I think that was it really a dash of water just to get it going and then when it finished cooking I um, took it out I'm liking this now I want to colour this so I'm going to have a pause to think what colours to do now. I'm, whether, I'm wondering whether to keep this with pinks, make this very pink and bright. Um, and then, so I cooked it for 35 minutes in the Instant Pot and then rested, um, let it rest for 10 minutes, released the pressure, then I mixed some, about a tablespoon of gravy granules and then put it on the sauté mode without the lid to boil off some of the juices, uh, the water, not the juices. And it seemed to work really well. And my daughter ate it. Now she did pick pick the mushrooms, but that's fine. Next time I'm just going to blend them in so she won't eat them. Good question. Lindy and Thank you, Paula. Right, so. Um, sorry, was there a question? Can you just ask the questions again now I'm staring at the screen? Chicken and Bavarian sauerkraut. Ooh. Okay, so I'm thinking a little bit of light daffodil to light for the centre. And then we're going to go darker as we go out. So this pen is nearly on its way to blender pen heaven I think this will be its last outing because that's pretty much all I can get out of that so chuck that over there oh <laughs> that's fine sorry guys if I don't see your questions just ask me again because if I have my head down I'm not always catching comments, sorry about that. Oh, that's good, Martina. Just find the way that works best for you. Oh, just realised I need to start rubbing these pencil marks out at some point. So I'm just going around colouring with, this is Light Daffodil Delight, and then I'm going to use Dark Daffodil Delight, and do some colouring here. Now you can probably see where the two meet each other, come in a bit closer. You see that where they meet there? So I'm just going to colour in four of the petals, then go back with my light one over the where they meet to try and get, get it to blend in. And for some reason I find it easier to do this when it's still a little bit wet. 
see how I've lost that line now. It needs a baby dragonfly. Sausage, cheese and beans. Oh. See, I'd love it if my kids would eat that, Wend. Some would eat the beans, some would eat the cheese. Yes, absolutely, Diet. But that's the way, that's what art is about, isn't it? Art is about our own, or making art is your own methods, or, you know, inspired by others, or inspired by things around us, but our own interpretations. I love it. That's why I love inspiring people because they then take it on and fly with it. Right, so then we're going to hit the Mango Melody. Now, yesterday I didn't find the light one, so I'm going to have a proper look on my caddy and see if I can find it. I've got dark pumpkin pie. What's that? Light pumpkin pie. Dark petal pink. No, 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 no. Hmm, I wonder where Mango's gone then. Let's see if I've got a spare one. Alright, that's pumpkin pie. What's that? Clips of coral. Hmm. I mean, I could start going towards Calypso coral, actually because I wouldn't mind ending in pink. Mm -mm. I like Clips of Coral. And I've got lovely lipstick. Now I know this is retired, but, oh, I've got magenta. Yes, okay. Right, where's the coral gone? So we've got light calypso coral here. Are the blue? No, these are uh, gorgeous grape. Yeah, the lighting might just not be very good for showing up the true colours. So I will take a photograph of this. And you'll be able to see it. Oh no. Oh no, that's a bit. What's that? Light magenta mothers. Oh. It's dark, I think. No, that's cherry cobbler. Oh my word, what's going on with my pens? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use lovely lipstick. I know this is retired. But I don't have Melon Mambo, so... Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to go back in with the Calypso Coral to soften the blend there into the lovely lipstick and then I'm going to go back in with the light calypse no what is this oh <gasps> no that's like pumpkin pie did I mean to do that maybe I did no I didn't mean to do that oh okay here's my pumpkin pie no I already did that. I wanted like clips of coral. Here we go. It 
So this is slightly complicated in that I'm trying to blend about three or four different colours all together to get a really seamless kind of effect. So once you've hit on your recipe, what's that? Oh, no, that was light calypso coral. Okay, so that's light calypso coral. That's dark lovely lipstick, which is what I wanted. And then that's dark calypso coral. Right, I'm happy now. I think I've got my combinations. Let's start that again. So I'm just going to move that there so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to do a bit of... This is lovely lipstick, but I would recommend you use Melon Mambo if you've got it. And we'll do two petals at once here. There we go. Then we've got the Calypso Coral going into the... lovely lipstick and we're just going over and over that line where it meets it so that it blends and then we're going to do the same here again and blend those together. Oh, I think this pen's starting to be on its way out as well. So we want to try and get rid of that line there. I'm just going to bring in my... No. No. Oh. Do I not have another one? Oh, it's here. Oh, you can see how um, <laughs> how much more juicier this one is. I'll put this one to one side so I don't get confused. Right. And then if you want to go back in with the, what was it, light, no, the Daffodil Delight. Sorry, I'm not looking at the screen right now, guys. You can just to blend that back in again as well. Okay, so whew, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, he did a blending chart. What in what what did he mix? Um, Cindy, hi Cindy. Right, so let's do a bit of pink. Oh, I forgot about those ones. Oh, I'll come into that in a minute. <laughs> I think I, at this point I can only think of one petal at a time, or two rather. So let's colour that in. I'm going to try and get a bit faster now. <laughs> Me too, Janine. <laughs> You're not the only one. But you know what we do? We keep going until it works. Don't give... Well, I don't, I don't like saying don't give up. It's more like keep going, keep going. Because the sentence don't give up has the words give up. So we don't use it. We use sentences like keep going, keep going. Keep stamping. Okay, so now we're going the opposite. We're going to see how this works. So we're going light to dark this time. Like a sunset and a flower. Oh yeah, it is a bit. I'm feeling like the butterflies are starting to look a bit boring now. So, um, I may go back in and just 
do something with the butterflies. Okay, so I've just realised I actually prefer going dark to light because it means that you can do the blending a bit better. So, Unless you've got all the time in the world, you can go between the dark, go dark to light and then light to dark back again. Hi, Diane. Oh, okay, Cindy. I might need to just go go back and watch that. Uh, Rick Adkins, he's a, quite a famous Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US. Yeah, he's he does really nice videos. Not that I've watched them for a long time. Okay, so the pens that I'm using are the Stampin' Blends and they're alcohol markers. So that's why I'm able to colour over and over and over and it not peel the paper. Okay, so there we go. Now let's work a little bit on these butterflies. I just feel that they look a bit, they looked a bit boring compared to what I've just done. So I'm just adding an extra bit of colour. So I stamped them in Melon Mambo and then coloured them with the colouring in stamp in yellow in Daffodil Delight, but I'm just going over them in light Calypso Coral in the middles just to give it that added bit of texture there. Thank you guys. You love the tiny white spot in the middle. <laughs> Do you? Oh, I think normally I'm like, no, I've got to have that in the middle. But no, it might just work for today. Right, there we go. So that's that done. Now we've got to decide what we're going to do with this. It's already got quite a bit of yellow in it, so it probably doesn't need to go as dark as that. So let's go with um, maybe a bit of Calypso then in the tip. So this is dark Calypso coral. Then go for a bit of light. Blend it out. And then come in with a daffodil. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I like the shape of the white spot, it's neat. <laughs> yes, it, it's worked out like a bit of a star shape, to be honest. So, yeah. Sorry this is taking so long, guys. But we've ended up doing something quite elaborate here. I might just move on to the purples. I might not finish it all in front of you guys tonight. Because some of you are going to be wanting your beds. What, doing that in Gorgeous Grape? What, stamping it? So 
great care, Claire. <laughs> I don't know why, I just felt like I wanted to go around that this time. Oh, maybe not, I didn't do it on the other one. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, yes, Martina, yeah. I mean, I could do some little purple flowers inside. Or some purple sprays. What about if I did, because I haven't done the spray stamp yet. This helps the lace pizza pieces <laughs> stand out. Oh, take care, Mindy. Okay, so we've got the green. Um, I wonder whether to keep that simple with... Oh, I've got some light granny apple green here. Like those a bit more. Okay, that's nice, it's sort of brightening it up a little bit. Oh, thank you, Paula. Now when colouring with the blends you sometimes do have to remember that they do have a tiny little bit of sort of seepage stroke bleeding. So if you don't want it to go over the edge of a line, just colour up to it. Don't colour right on it. Okay, now we've got the centres here, so I'm, hmm, do I want to just do the middle? I don't feel like I want to bring too much attention to them. So just a little bit in the middle, so I think that's probably enough. Oh, no, nearly did the purple one then. Okay, so let's have a think for the purple then. I have got some purple. Put you on the telly and now I want you to put your cards on my wall. Oh, bless you. Right, we've got Highland Heather, Dark Purple Posy. We've got light purple posy, light highland heather. Do we go dark at the tips and then go light? And then yellow centres. 
let's do yellow centres, let's make that decision now, that is what we're doing. I missed two leaves in the corner, thank you guys. That's why I do lives. <laughs> you guys are so good at picking out, noticing when I've not done something. Uh, it's Daffodil Delight going into Light Calypso Coral, then Dark Calypso Coral, then Magenta Madness, which I know is a retired colour. It's just that I don't have Melon Mambo, so... I've just realised, are those two leaves there, or are they, is that a flower? I guess it's up to you. So I've got this dark highland heather let's see how dark this goes because i do have blackberry bliss if i don't feel it's dark enough I'm not trying not to do too much because it's like it's got a, a row of petals and then it has a row of petals sort of on the outside and then it has another row on the inside. When you're colouring you, you get to know these stamps very intimately. You kind of start to see every little line and you're like, oh now is that does that belong there? Does that belong to that flower? <laughs> Okay, so Dark Highland Heather will go into Light Highland Heather. Oh, thank you for being here, Deborah. It's been lovely to see you. Are you around at the weekend? I'm doing a bit of a Zoom at the weekend. Hi Shirley! Thank you Jane! <laughs> Okay, I don't feel I could I can carry on doing all this in front of you guys. It's a bit much. It's a lot. I should want to start. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. Right, what words can you make out of that? Delicate petals. There we go. I forgot that's what we do when I start doing things are a little bit tedious. So what words can you make out of those letters, everybody? No cheating, no Googling. Just brain power, please. <laughs> Very much, Cindy, <laughs> yeah.
cute slate piece leap cats cl clasped. Oh, that's a good one. Now, can anyone use all the letters and come out with um, like two or three other words? Platted. Mm. Very good. Lactates. Oh yeah, make a sentence with the word lactate, that's funny. Placid, special, spilled, <laughs> stapled. We getting there. Just following some of these lines to do some detailing. Elasticated. Oh, very good, Janice. Oh, decapitates. Well done, Elizabeth Finney, first timer. Lovely. Great to have you with us. Where are you from then, Elizabeth? You know what? I think I might just start using the. Oh, don't, no, no. What's the lid? Start using the uh, brush tip. It might, might all happen a bit quicker if I did that. Celestial. Good word. Just got to pick up the lid. Oh, so Hamilton in Scotland. Oh, another Scot. We have a few Scots here. Pilates. So I had a, I just had a wobble moment there where I thought, am I using the right one? Oops. Yeah, me too, Janine. Oh, Janice, that's lovely. So Elizabeth is Janice's friend. Well, any friend of Janice is a friend of ours. I don't know what accent that was. I'm so sorry, Janice. It sort of went Irish, didn't it? Yes, if, if you're finding this a bit tedious, please do skip forward because... Um, but I know there are a few people on here who are like wanting to see what it looks like finished. So, is it past my bedtime yet? It nearly is.
Right, so basically imagine that times four. <laughs> right, now what were we saying about purple earlier? I'm wondering then whether to do some purple sprays. Actually, that might fit really well in there. Because I really, I feel like these are a bit too disconnected from that. If we did that in purple, it would connect it again, wouldn't it? Right, where's my stump has gone? Keep away from the centre. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, where did I just put it? Yep, it was underneath. I'm wondering whether to alternate it with that little wee one so it's not like completely symmetrical. So this is this could be when it all goes crashing to the ground and we go, oh no, she went too far. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> so you don't have to feel the pain. <laughs> Lisa, welcome. My first time on here, it's been great. Oh well, thank you for saying hi. Um we're a rowdy bunch on here. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. There's a lovely bunch of people who watch this channel and if you want to be a bit more part of the community, please do head over to Facebook to Artful Stamping Space where you can see everybody's work. We also have a monthly chat area, so if you've got questions or if you just want to yeah, comment on something, you can do. I try and keep the board fairly clean in that um, only you're only allowed to post pictures of your creations inspired by my channel and and we have a running happy birthday thread where you can post a, a birthday birthday card for everybody whose birthday it is this month so at the moment we're in March, so all the March birthdays. Yeah, Linda Yamakoto is a, a rowdy grandma. There we go. I quite like that. That does help to bring that purple in. So. Oh yes, we end up talking about recipes as well. Yeah, we always end up talking about food, don't we? Okay, let me just have a look. So I'm just trying to focus on this top area. Let's see if there's anything else. Could maybe do a little bit of dotage. Although again, I'm very tempted to do this by hand because it's just going to take an age if I have to do it in the stamparatus. But I will try and do it as if I was using the stamparatus. So. Right, so I'm just going to mimic what I've done there over in this corner first. And then I will look at the other. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Glenna's dreams have come true now. Okay, so we worked on those clusters. So now I want to work on this one. So I'm thinking of going up in the corner a bit more. So I've, rever I've switched the stamp around a bit. So again, going for the same areas. Um, I'm going there, there, there. Okay, one more to go. So Esther suggested earlier that I stamp the the cheese I don't know whether to do it there and there or just leave it I quite like the being able to see the butterflies. Oh, what about if I put some, maybe some yellow dotage around there. Looky everyone, see how the dotage brings things to life. Yes, <laughs> that's my best Glenna voice. <laughs> yes, we do use our stamping superpowers. What about then yellow dotage? I'll do yellow in that corner. What did Martina... Oh dear, what's Martina said? Oh yes. Martina and her. Yes. You know what? My mum might be watching this, Martina. <laughs> she better not be though. Now this is probably the most, uh, what's the word, thought through dotage I've ever done. When I do dotage normally, I just go for it, don't I? But this is probably the most carefully placed. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, eh? This is what's stressing me out now. I'm like, I've got to get this right. I can't put, a, can't put a stamp wrong. There we go. Oh, that is frustrating me, that. But I'm hoping once that's coloured in, I might be able to go in there with... Um, I have got my white chalk pen, and sometimes I can use it to... remove things or oh, I've got my white oh thank you Jane so sweet of you I have got my eraser here uh, will the colour lifter work no afraid it won't Janine because uh, the mark was created with water-based ink and the colour lifter or pusher as I like to call it, is alcohol. So, um, oh no, that was, that was a big bit of, big blob of ink there. Just trying to see if I can find my chalk marker. I used it the other day for, I discovered my chalk marker is great for writing on plastic for storage in my fridge. 
Oh, here it is. Oh, it's been it's been stored the wrong way up though, so I need to turn it over. Hmm. It's looking a bit like a hot mess. Night Navarana! Oh gosh, it's really late for you. Thank you so much for joining. Are you around on Saturday? We um we'll be zooming. Okay, um, I'm just going to colour, oh excuse me, I'm getting tired now, it's light, that's dark. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I might, I might see if I've got any. We call it Tipex. Well, the brand is Tipex here in the UK. I haven't got the one in a bottle, but I've got the one in a, it's like a roller. So I'm not sure if it'll work. The other option is that I cut around the whole thing. A bit drastic, but you never know, it might work. Yeah, I'm hoping that, Janine. It may do. You guys are so good sticking with me doing this, thank you. Nobody noticed until I said something. Oh. Oh yes, we need to um a white posca. Oh yes, my sister got some in her art kit, Navarana which she took to Zambia, how unhelpful, um, yes, but she had those Posca pens, yeah, she really liked them, that would be a good reason to have one, wouldn't it, yeah, it's not so bad now I've coloured in that bit, Hi Connie. Yeah, I've just tried the grey eraser and it no, it didn't work. And then I've put some white chalk pen over the top as well, but it's kind of not made it very good at all. Yeah, it might do, Martina. I'm wondering whether to put some purple. Or just do what you said, just put put my sentiment down there, but she's bound to notice something. <laughs> oh, thank you, Zari. No worries. To be honest, it's a lot of colouring, so you probably don't want to watch all of it. It's a lot to watch.
Yeah, I've done some purple dotage already. The only thing is, if I do it in that corner, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll, I feel like I need to do it in every corner. I'll just put my hand here. <laughs> you won't notice. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here because I'm st I'm noticing that I'm getting a bit too um, slapdash with my technique now. So I want to make sure that it's up to the same standard all over. So I think I'm going to stop here and finish it off tomorrow. And um, I'll, I will share photos. I don't, I'm not sure what to do about that centre. Um, because... I feel that like I quite I do quite like having that white. Um, I mean the other option is that I go in with a spray. I could have a spray going around, but I I quite like those sprays. So um, uh, oh, what was that, Martina? The, about the purple dosage. Oh, the broken line of that flower. <clears throat> well I've already got dots I've already got dots there and there she may not if I if, if I make the card with it that way up hopefully she'll just look at you know she'll just see that the white in the middle brings your eyes there oh does it okay hold on let's give you a bit more of a wider angle of it what if i colored it in just a little bit of that purple a light purple let me rub out the let me rub out these lines now Could you mask the purple and put in a partial... Oh, you mean stick a new one on top? That's a good idea. Oh, the one next to the boo-boo. I won't make a decision now, I think. I'll I'll leave it till tomorrow about the boo-boo. Ooh, that line's not wanting to come out. Oops. Come on. That line is happy where it is. <laughs> Time to make cornbread. Oh yeah, I love cornbread. The only problem is if I make cornbread, I end up eating like the whole load and then my stomach does not thank me afterwards. Doesn't like it. There we go. So far, so far so good. Um, just thinking of going, sorry I'm fiddling now, I want to make the centres of these butterflies a bit darker with my pen. It's subtle but I like it. Did Connie do? Mask the purple flower and put a partial leaf. Yes. That may be an option. If 
but I think what I'm going to do is colour it all in tomorrow and then see where my eyes are drawn after it's all coloured. Because I've still got this section to go. So There we go. Right. Lovely to have your company again. Sorry it's been a bit of a long one again. But write mum in tiny letters in the centre. I remember years ago it was all the rage to have your name written on a piece of rice and put into like um, a little um, like a little vial with liquid in it so that you could see it. Do you remember that? Yeah, white craft paint. Yeah, I, I'm wondering that as well, to do it over the top. My re -inker. Rather than using a brush. Oh, my husband's got some really tiny brushes he's been using. I wonder whether just to use the end of my stylus. Yeah, okay, Roberta. So I'm just going to get my the end of my stylus and Oh, that's working. Oops. Oops. Where's the boo-boo gone? Oh, there it is. So with a stylus, I'm, <laughs> I'm partly using it because I don't have a brush on my desk. But also it means that you can be quite specific. The only thing is, this is going to take all night to dry, which is probably a good thing. But I'm doing it now. This is the Whisper White Re-Inker. So there's a ink pad we do called Whisper White. And this is what you re-ink it with. I'll redo that dotage tomorrow. Yes, it's a pigment ink, so it sits on top of um, whatever you do. But as a result, it's a sticky ink, so you have to let it dry. So, let's see. Ah, much better. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm going to leave the boo-boo, there's a little bit of green on the purple for flower, but I don't think it's as obvious now. I've actually got a little bit of a boo-boo up there, but never mind. I might trim it down a bit. So. Oh, I can hear birds outside like calling like really bizarre not bizarre but just unusual sounds that I'm not used to <laughs> anyway thank you guys and I'll um, catch you tomorrow um, I might I might do a bit more colouring and then come on and show you or something because um, 
So it'll be nice for you to see the finished thing. Do they do they sing at night, Martina? I'm gonna go and look at my bird book now. There we go. And thank you for my super chat. And thank you, someone donated really generously last night on super chat as well. Just at like the last minute, and I went back to look in the chat to see who it was, and I couldn't see it. So thank you, whoever that person was. So sweet of you. Oh, really? <laughs> That's cute, Linda. Right, lots of love to you all. And um, I'm, I, I am going to leave my desk as it is because I've got everything here that I'm using. So I'm just going to make sure I don't lose these stamps because they're not mine. But, um, there we go. Right, lots of... No, of course, the nightingale. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard it before. As I said, because I'm a different in a different part of town now, I'm hearing different birds. So. Right, lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye.